Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. In the previous session, I talked about how we can use SQL to generate new columns or drop existing columns. However, we could also use this to generate new entries or delete already existing entries. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So first off, if we want to add a new entry to our table, we're going to use the so-called insert into. Huh? And here I first have to tell him, well, where to insert the new information. That's the orders. And then I have to tell him in rounded brackets, what's the structure of the data to be entered? Well, here I could just take the order as given in this table starting with ID and order ID. So it could go ID, comma, order ID, comma, then product code, quantity, and sales rep. So product code, quantity, sales rep. So now he knows whatever he will get from me will have exactly this format. So the next part is actually giving him values. Again, similar fashion in rounded brackets. First off, well, he needs an ID. The idea here, uh, ID here in this case is it's always a running number. It's always increasing. So if I would add something by hand here, I would get a 15. And that's a big problem. I cannot use SQL to directly give me the next running number. So I have to do this part by hand. So I have to keep up here, go with 15. Then the order ID, let's say A005, because the previous order was a004. Then a production code. Let's say that's L0112 for the product. Then we need a quantity. Let's take 25. And finally, a sales rep. If I'm going to use it as is, I will get a big problem because at this point, I actually have three positions, which are texts. Whenever I'm going to add a text, I have to put this into quotation marks, into single quotation marks, else he will not copy this correctly. So to get it into the table the way it's supposed to be, I'm going to go like this. Okay, I did make a mistake at one point. Yeah. I'm using a semicolon here, should be comma. Okay, it's fixed, I can save it. And well, at this point I see here, it has this plus sign. So this tells me he's going to add something to my table. I will just close both of those tables and then execute this, click here. Well, it's going to change the content of my table. Yes, I want this to. He's going to add one row, yes. So let's have a look. This was the orders table. I have here ID 15, order ID A005 with all the information I just added in this context. So that's how I can add information to a table. So the next question would be, how can I actually erase data from my table? Well, it works relatively similar just going to erase all of this. At this point, I'm going to work with delete from, not insert into, but delete from. But I still have to tell him which table. If I just keep it as is, it will delete more or less the whole table. So I'm going to go into a bit more of detail. I'm going to tell him where, so the condition, which cases to erase which in our case would be simply the case I created and that's easiest found with order 
ID and the order ID should be equal to A005. Again, I'm looking for a text, so I have to put this in single quotation marks. So he will raise all these entries where the order ID is A005. If I save this, first off, I see the sign, the symbol down here changes. This has this red cross in front of it, which usually represents erasing something, dropping something like this. So this tells us when I execute this, this will delete something in my tables. Okay, I'm going to do this, double click, modify my data, yes. I'm going to go and delete one row from the specified table, yes. Let's have a look at the orders. I just erased the table I earlier, uh, sorry, the entry I earlier created. And well, that was what I actually expected it to do. So that's more or less almost everything I wanted to do here. I could add one small part. I'm going to go back here. What if you just want to delete everything you have? Well, then erase the last part. And he already made this a bit clearer because at this point he put this asterisk here in this case. So this means delete everything from the orders. If I want to delete not everything but only selected entries, I could put the entries here and then continue in a way we discussed before. So that's more or less it. I hope you enjoyed this session. I say goodbye and see you next time.